Welcome to the first report of the Humble McGinnis Prospect Report. We're here live at Taste Creek High School. We come to preview the team, see how everything's going. This is the first school of uh, uh, all the schools that we'll be hitting this, this uh, upcoming preseason. Uh, me and my guy, Lavelle, he's been very adamant on trying to get these kids in the city exposed and get the people outside the walls of Kentucky to know what's here and showcase their talent. How about you, Lavelle? You excited about this team? Man, I think we're going to have a great year this year here in Lexington. Um, we got a lot of teams, we got a lot of returners coming. Uh, the city was young last year, uh, except for many two school. Um, so I'm very excited to see what happens with uh, Fayette County basketball this year. Well, for Taste Creek being 5 and 25 last year, you know, they really have no expectations with the new coach of Gerard Gay. He had a change of culture and implement his system into this uh, organization here. Well, with that being said, this is his uh, second year and his first year actually with his guys in there, the guys that he chose to keep, to keep, excuse me. So now I'm excited to see what he's going to do with key return as uh, with Deontay and Amari. I'm, uh, I'm happy with the new uh, guy that just came in with Sion. Might give him a new dynamic. Um, so uh, before we get out of here, you got anything about Chase Creek? Um, James McKinney, huge. Um, you got to look at uh, coming off the bench. They're, they're real young still. So um, they're fast, um, very high defensive wise, solid. You know, um, still looking to see if Isaiah Hunt's going to get cleared to play here. That's going to be a huge, huge help for Tate's Creek. Only thing I think Tate's Creek lacks is size, but they make up for it on the defensive end because they're very strapped. All right, all right. Well, enjoy these highlights. Enjoy the interview that we're going to get in with Coach Gay and some of their uh, key returning players. We hope to see you soon and tune in to our next, next team preview. All right, man, starting the interview off, man, you're my first guy. Appreciate you, my brother, like I always say, man. Uh, proud of you. Uh, second year guy, man. So uh, the culture had to be changed around Taste Creek, man. Tell me some things that you put in place uh, to get this changed and some things that you want to implement from here going out. Uh, the main thing is accountability. Uh, we put the accountability in our kids for everything, um, not only athletically, but academically first. Uh, last year, I think we finished with a team GPA 2.6. This year we had a 3.0. I'm trying to push my guys to get a 3.5. You know, kind of challenge them a little bit. Okay. So, uh, to you guys from last year, how many guys you got returning this year? Yeah. Uh, I only lost two guys last year. Only two. So I got everybody back. who was very, very young. Um, I had to play a lot of young kids because of injuries. Right. Started the season out with six guys out. Uh, finished the season with five different guys out. <laughs> so it was very hard, you know. But um, everybody's healthy now. Return everybody. Uh, do have one injury. Uh, my senior, Quentin Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, he tore his ACL, unfortunately, but um, he's still a part of the team. And, you know, we're going to roll with it. So, with um, everybody returning, who's going to be the guy? Though? Who's going to look forward? Who are you looking forward to show the domain load for you? Uh, Amari Taylor. He's a junior. Um, he missed 19 games. The first 19 last year with a broken wrist. Uh, he came back, had a good, you know, second half of the season, uh, had a good summer, uh, playing the summer with his AAU program and everything, but uh, he showed some leadership skills. I got a point guard uh, who set out last year, Sion Townsend. Uh, he's, he, he's our guy that gets the energy going and everything. So um, Amari and Sion are our two main guys. I got a couple sleeper guys, young kids. Uh, James McKenzie, uh, sophomore, about 6'6", six, six, uh, athletic. He's just learning, but he's, he's doing real well too. Okay. So you say energy, see how I'm raising energy. So what would be the taste we got in energy this year? Uh, we're going to play a lot faster. Okay. We're going to try to get underneath of you. Uh, I, I have some bodies this year. I have some bodies that you know we can try to press and um, kind of force a lot of turnovers. You know, I wanted to do it last year, but unfortunately, again, injury. So, so playing fast, are you going to be able to deal with the turnovers that come with that? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yes, you, you have to. Okay. Uh, the thing is, you know, like I tell my guys, you know, Turnovers are going to happen. It's what you do after the turnover. You're going to get it back, or you're going to pout, you're going to put your head down. Okay. I want you to be say, you know what, I made a mistake, coach. I got you right here. I'm going to get it back some way, some house. So, team goals, okay? So, you went 5 and 25 last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be something that is reasonable for a team goal? 
Uh, and if you was to overachieve this year, what would that be? Uh, the overachievement, of course, would be uh, winning the 11th region, going to the state. Okay. I think that's everybody's um, goal as a team. Um, our team goals is to go undefeated at home. Uh, let's try to split everywhere else we play. Okay. Um, at least let's you know be uh, up in the win column. More wins than we do have losses. Um, the main thing is, you know, my kids are going to compete. And once they compete, they compete every time, everything takes care of themselves. Yeah, I got you. So, my final question for you, man. Uh, not too many people can say they coach at all their alma maters, man. He was a shooter, a good player at K State, he got the coach there. Uh, he was a jail piece and one of the vital pieces for Brian Station. Mm -hmm. uh, and I seen here yeah. uh, without you, they went with there. And then when he was younger, Henry Clay, man, he hit some big shots and rough. A lot of these guys don't understand, yeah. you know, you, you stepped up to the moment. So what, what does that mean to you? And then what have you grown, what have you brought from all three of those places to Taste Creek, which is, you know, formerly both of our rivals yeah. in high school. But what was that, what have you brought from that? From that? Well, just playing at Henry Clay with Kirk Chaz, Daniel Brown, Mark Thompson, uh, just the discipline part of it. You know, just being disciplined off the court was the main thing that, you know, I learned a lot at Henry Clay. And going to Bryan Station, it was just like, you know, at the time they wasn't winning at all. And going there at Champ League and gave me an opportunity, I came in and the main thing I learned from them was just going hard every play and being able to compete every single play. Um, coaching at K-State, it was a lot different. Um, just the style of play and everything. And just, just, it's, it's just a totally different thing. So. Just bringing all that to these kids and trying to get them to understand the accountability again, you know, off the court. You know, one day the ball's gonna stop bouncing. Uh, I have a basketball actually in my office, um, deflated. And uh, I think the, st uh, the statistic is 2% of college athletes make it professional. So what happens after that? Right. You know, what happens after that? You know, you can blow your knee out just walking down the steps. What happens after that? What are you gonna do after basketball? So. I really try to um, push the academic part. And um, right now, my kids are answering the bell. You know, they're doing real good with that. So we want to keep that going here. All right, man. Well, again, I appreciate you being my first interview, man. Had to start it off with my brother, man. I'm proud of you. Second, this is your second year. I'm excited to see what y'all going to do at Taste Creek. Uh, I think we got a good staff with Ty and Kalanka. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. And uh, me and LaBelle will be in the check with you, man. Thank you. Make sure. Uh, Make sure y'all come out November 30th, host Henry Clay here. All right, first home game. Please come out and support. All right, man. Yep. Appreciate it. Welcome to our first episode of 84 Feet of Truth. My name is Mike Jones again. I'm with my man Amari Taylor here. He's a star player here at Taste Creek High School. I'm gonna be a sophomore. Junior. Gonna be a junior. This is our first question. Normally we do 84 feet on the basketball floor, but we're gonna take the uh, stairs because that's their slogan here. So we're gonna walk up these steps. I'm gonna shoot off some random questions to you and uh, see how it goes. All right. So let's go ahead and take these stairs, man. So what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Your favorite color. How many points? What's the most points you scored in high school so far? 26. 26. Who's against? Pendleton County. What is your main goals for this season? Get to the state and have a 3.5 team GPA. To be a leader on this team, what will it take? A lot of communication and keeping our grades up. And then what's your dream school if you had a choice? UK. UK. That's 84 feet of truth with my man Amari Taylor.